start and it looks like it's going to be Barcelona first to the uh, volleyball but it is Munster getting possession of the Bludgers passing it off to their back corner chaser who's running it in trying to get past there but number 10 from the Munsters blocking them out slowing this initial play we're going to see how this goes with two Bludgers in between them and the goals big pass over there great hands getting it above their head Slowly wandering down the pitch, making sure that they've got all their pieces in play here. Barcelona, knowing that they have time to kill, being only 30 seconds or so into the game. Barcelona doing a bit of a fake switch there to try and break up some of the Munster uh, defence, but they're not letting up, keeping a high cavalry wall or a 2-2 on that player, stopping them breaking the wall. Passing it on, we've got our first warning within a minute for delay of game. Declan Ramsey, a very impatient man, he wants to get to the social tonight. We've got some serious partying to do after this day. Big pass over there to number three, I believe. It's, as I say, difficult to see the uh, Barcelona numbers uh, with a white on yellow or a yellow and white thing. Oh, big tackle down to the ground there by number 34 of the Monsters, but passing off to the Barcelona chaser, who's managed to get out again, running around number 24, building a bit of space, not wasting the volleyball there. I believe we're around two minutes in, and they've, they've kept possession for a long time, but hitting number seven there, and Monsters, number 34, finally getting their hands on the volleyball, getting a little bit of possession, a little bit of ball time, but now Munster have possession of four, but no, they have lost their bludger control to the Barcelona team, the home team. Very interested to uh, keep, their, keep their cool while they're playing on their home turf. Number 10 here for Munster with possession of the volleyball champion being beat out there by uh, number, I'm not quite sure, for, uh, number three, I think, for uh, Barcelona. Clearing out the... Uh, the Offensive monster lineup. I believe we might be coming up to the three minute mark here with no goals scored. Both teams very, very competitive, very good at uh, both the defense and offense here. We're seeing what happens when a, uh, a brick wall runs into a, uh, uh, or even a, a train runs into a brick wall. Very good play there by Munster, shutting down that offense. Number 34 again, the keeper for Munster with possession of the volleyball. Strutting down the pitch, he's got all the time in the world. Both teams are believing that the game is going to end within the, uh, within, oh, what do you call it? Snitch, uh, fly range? Swim, that's what we call it, isn't it? A lovely little pirouette there on the middle of the pitch. Pass over there, but to the hands of one of the Barcelona chasers who passes it off there to a bigger Barcelona chaser who's pumping their fist. But number 10 is not disturbed from Munster. Big throw there, no goal. Oh, Declan Ramsey just said it is a goal. We have the first goal for Barcelona Eagles. Soaring through there. Losing the score at 10-0 in favour of our local Catalonian team. Possession of the Bludgers now with, past, uh, with Monsters. Monsters have possession of the Bludgers, but they're not bringing them up onto the attack. Instead, going for a napalm, where one of their bludger beaters has thrown their ball back and is trying to disrupt the Barcelona's beater defence. But unfortunately, he is de -brewed. His stick has fallen from his legs, leaving Barcelona to now push up on the beaters to try and get a bludger back. But Munster is still running in with a volleyball. Going to go! To bring the score to 10 all. Both teams now having their first goal on the scoreboard. Fantastic bit of play there with uh, Munster using, I believe, three, if not four, of their chasers in the uh, game there as it was passed around the hoops, getting it finally to the hands of their uh, to their supporting trawling player behind the hoops, popping it in nice and lovely, very precise. Here goes Barcelona going for a run there, taking out the keeper in the attempt run again. Barcelona still having possession of the volleyball. Big pass over there. Bit loopy. It might go towards the back, but they've managed to keep it in the, in, in the uh, pitch. Big hit there by uh, the 
monster number nine keeper. Ooh, hang on, this is going to be a bit of an advantage. I believe this is going to be over the net contact from the monster, and away they go. And, oh, it's a little bit tricky. Oh, and the beater for monsters has been able to stop it. Bringing possession now into the newly crowned keeper, number 10 of monsters. Munsters now having only four players on the pitch, having lost two of them to um, very naughty plays. Here comes in the Barcelona beaters to try and clear up some goals. Barcelona number four picking up the volleyball in the middle of the pitch, coming in against the beater, making a shot. And it is in, bringing the score to 20-10 in favour of Barcelona. And the first of the yellow cards has been spent. Number nine coming onto the pitch for the Munsters. Monsters now having five players on the pitch, which is indeed better than four, but not as good as six. I've learned how to count. It's taken a while. Right, in the centre of the pitch, going very slowly, we have number 10. I believe he is trying to uh, waste the time a little bit to make sure that he can get his player back on. The number seven now being released. The Monsters now having all their players back. He has used his first reset. First reset has been used, and a big pass over there to their supporting wing chaser, who's got past the first defending line, but passing it to number seven, who's just come back on pitch. Seven passing back to number ten, who's being uh, being attacked by number four and beaten out there by the Barcelona beater, who's now subbed off. He's done a fantastic play there. Number four running in, passing it off to their behind the hoop chaser, who popped it in beautifully, putting that there. Way of describing that really, that was just a, a textbook goal there. Nice run in, distracting the defending chases with the oncoming ball carrier, passing it off at the last moment to be thrown through the hoop. Lovely. That means the score at 30 10 in favour of Barcelona. I believe the time is probably around the six minute mark. Maybe around the six minute mark. The seven minute mark, I was just off. I've moved away from the microphone slightly there, turbulent sorry. There we go. Right, that's all. Wow, I've just been told of a technological advancement that I did not know we had. I can now check the time and score live from where I stand. Right, so volleyball is now with number 22 of Barcelona. Barcelona running in being, oh, lovely pass off there just before contact, but contact was made by number nine of the Monsters to stop that run. Big pass, uh, throw over, I believe. I believe that was an attempt at a goal despite having two passing options there. But you know, everyone, everyone can have one. After that, I'll start to play. Volleyball possession now with number 34 of the Monsters. Again, Monsters taking a, a very, um, considered approach to coming down the pitch. I found that the German teams uh, this tournament have, have <coughs> taken a bit of their time moving down the pitch. They've used their first reset to backtrack a little bit. It might be a case of, I know that the Monsters, uh, they've changed up their tactics a little bit before coming into the game. Uh, it might be a case of wanting to, wanting to play the clock down a little bit, knowing that both teams are... Oh, wow! Fantastic long shot, but it's been called hey, nice hey, look, it didn't go in. Shit, um, as I was saying, hey, Monsters potentially wanted to play down the clock a little bit, um, knowing that both teams are looking to be within swing when the uh, flag runner comes on pitch. Uh, Barcelona hey, Eagles right, now coming down a little bit faster, but again, also uh, taking a bit more of a walk down the pitch. We have uh, number eight going into the wing, making a bit of a, um, a slight L shape on the attack there. Ooh, a, a pass there, but it was a bit low, meaning that we have got a bit of a mash there. One might call it a monster mash on the middle of the pitch. Monster regaining control, now with 34, their keeper. A very good possession is currently in Barcelona. Ball retention. We now have number not currently in this game because I can't see what the number is. 26 maybe, it's black on blue. Don't know why you'd do that, all right. Uh, number 34 being contested but passing it off just before the beater came in for them. Reset has been used for Munster. Oh, it is passed there, not quite getting to the hands, forcing them a bit further to the wing than they'd like to be. Number 14 getting it, the catch there, passing it over to number 34. But in front of a beater, they're going to have to get it. Oh, 
Threading the needle in the wrong direction. Munster, I believe, uh, sorry, Barcelona, 24, I believe, with the, with the uh, volleyball now. We just passed the 10 minute mark with the score being 30 10 in favour of Barcelona. A very, very tense game. It's both these teams equally proficient. Ooh, that might have been, if there was a more eagle eyed ref there, uh, possibly third blunder interference by um, the Barcelona team as they did stop a bludger with their foot as they saw but we've got a bit of a crush on the uh, pitch here now as Munster have tackled the, uh, uh, the attacking chaser to the ground and we're having a countdown and Dex says that the Barcelona Eagles have to let go of the ball now if you're on the ground and you're held for more than 10 seconds or 5 seconds I'm not quite sure of the rule but it's one of the two you have to release the ball and give it to the defending team so you don't want to be cradling the ball on the ground. A fantastic rule brought in to stop slow balling when the uh, flag runner comes on pitch. During the game now though, it does mean that the, uh, the beaters for both teams have to react a little bit quicker than they used to to uh, break up some of these plays when you go to ground. Lovely pass over there to number, I think that's 31 um, of Munster. 34 again, having possession here, trying to lose his mark, but he has a half point in front of him with the keeper for Barcelona taking point with one back player there to stop a driving. Oh, good, almost to the hands, but not quite getting it. Yeah. 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 A beautiful swan throw through that. Uh, through that. I don't believe that they ever had a grip on the ball. It was all done with gyroscopic motion from the Munster player there, bringing the score to 30-20 at the, well, we're just coming into the 12 minute mark of the game. We still have all to play for, but I believe the predictions from both teams that we're going to be within swim might be correct. The beaters now going for a bit of a fight there. Ooh, Barcelona, number 22, going for a, a very powerful attack there, but unfortunately being blocked out there by 25. 25 again going for a tackle, but not quite making hands on him. 22 trying to get him further. Nice pass off there. But unfortunately, I'd love to hit them at the exact same time as catching the volleyball. 14, slowing the game right down to the German pace of... Uh, Oh, we now have the reset just across there, unfortunately. But again, Germany taking a slow approach here. Barcelona trying to put on heavy contact. Again, number six not getting, the hand, not getting the grip that they wanted on number 10 there, falling to the ground themselves. Looks like the beater for Monsters has been knocked out, leaving Barcelona a bit of free reign, but they're not using it to press their advantage with the bludgers. So instead, Munsters have been allowed to just run around the pitch. Oh, beautiful intercept there. And we do have a bit of a clear run. There's one bludger in front of them. It looks like Barcelona has decided not to risk running against the single bludger. Instead, passing to number 24. They seem to like to pass to number 24. A bit of a safe hands option they have for Barcelona. And we now have a uh, The stoppage was due to injury. Uh, possession of the volleyball is with uh, Barcelona. Barcelona also having two bludgers at their hooks, leaving only one bludger for Munster to be defending with. We're getting calls from the crowd at the moment of defense. I think they want Munster to defend. That would be my, uh, my assumption on that. Oh, it looks like number 10 was holding on to uh, number 7 from Barcelona a little bit longer. Uh, Munster did have a chance to go for a little bit of a fast breakaway. They did have two bludgers in front of them though, and they've decided again to uh, slowly go down the pitch. Uh, now might be a good time to go get a snack if you want it. Uh, it looks like Munster again staying in the passing it back to number 34. Again, in the middle of the pitch. Playing down the clock here, knowing that once the... Uh, once the flag runner comes on pitch, it's going to be a 50-50 as to who takes this game. As both teams are within swim at the moment, we only have six minutes left until that becomes a reality. Munster not wanting to give up the volleyball unless they have a good attempt at the goal. And they've managed to go through it there. It's been called no good. good. Some refs were saying yes, some refs were saying no. I believe it might have been a beat before the hoop was made. Uh, we still have two, two um, beaters wrestling it uh, from uh, possession on the floor. Okay, everyone, 
the keeper line. but I think the refs do care about something. Here we go. That's going to negate whatever penalty the refs are calling was on, except that they were from Germany. I'm sick of coming with him. Uh, possession of the uh, bludgers is entirely with uh, Barcelona here, with the Barcelona oh, bludgers. However, <laughs> Munster has uh, a free range on the, uh, snitch, uh, on the flag at the moment. But with Barcelona coming in finally to break it up a bit. Pointing at the uh, 
possession of the Dodgers. Is this a, a rip on the Arthur Miller that you're doing? Uh, no. Okay. I'm not that cautious. Right, uh, Bludger Possession is currently with... Uh, so you're not getting away with What is with the Crucible defense? Oh, oh, okay, perfect. Right, okay. Big ball happening here in the Peter Zone for the Eagles. We've got hands up in the air. Uh, from the Oh! We've got no time for your lost property. We've got a goal from Munster. 11 7 now in favour of the Eagles. A bit of a leash of life for the Marauders, but some alone time here for this. Oh! Lovely catch! Very fat and more time for the Eagles seeker. Let's see what they can do. A roll there by the Marauders seeker who is sent home packing. Back there after a dismount. Barcelona 47 is an impressive beater holding blood control and game beats very quickly now. Good positioning, I think that's oh, right. No, I don't believe it is. Not yet. But Gone. number 17 from Munster really able to mark him out there. Seven from Munster moving down the pitch. We're now going back to their classic kind of slow walk. Passing off there to another player with an invisible number. Who designs these shirts? Who thinks we've got a dark blue shirt? Let's put a black number on the back. We go pass over there. We're going to go for it. We have a bludger one. Very intense beat of apple here around the flag runner. Barcelona getting back control of the volleyball. Barcelona having control of the bludgers as well at the same time. Wants to dive here. This seeker seems to be flagging. They're really going to go in and dive. Tries to pull the broom up. Unsuccessful. A little bit of a break. Ooh, a beat caught there by number four. That is fantastic. Love that lovely bit of passing. See? And it goes wide. Seeker is going to get another chance here. Control here. Game firmly by the Eagles. A really large period. Another beat goes wide. Oh, there's a pass back to 22. I think the score must be a little bit intense. But there's been a lot of good A beat on the back of the Seeker for Barcelona. I really hope to see a start. Yeah, good, good goal. Lovely attempt at the goals there from Munster, but unfortunately not getting it. That's going to be a little bit wide. And it's going to be recovered. There we go, second, second uh, boundary. It's going Trying to get towards the goals, being part of Barcelona also having free reign on the flag runner. Number 34 dodges the first beat, is hit by the second. You always got to look for that ground. second one, aiming for your rear end. It's a ball. Oh, down here. Ball to hit the goal in the favour of Munster, even before that beat. We'll see a sub, and we're going to have another attempt from the Marauders to break this bubble. Snatching that angle. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wide. I think this is so good. In this yeah. last couple minutes, this bubble has really been noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely oh, shot. Yeah. Let's go on, Anson. Again, a very, very uh, key player. Uh, Matt Ford, the team. So 11-8 the score. Bring it to the point where we'll be at back on footing if there is a catch by the Marauders. Oh, there is a catch. But again, another little number for the Monsters. Monsters being able to disrupt their uh, bubble for the first time. Monsters now having possession of the uh, bludgeons. Beautiful attempted pass there, unfortunately not getting the hands of Barcelona's players. Lingering by the hook. We have a pile up at the seven. Come from the five seconds. This head tap in Dragons when you don't have a race. Number 34 is nice to be tapping. We're going to see the other seeker for the Eagles set hoops. And we'll see what can happen on the offense here. One more goal. We have an advantage point for for Good. They're going to keep playing until it is resolved. That even after that big hit, we're going to finish it. Big hit there. Wait for it. Yeah, 
Yeah, oh, that was so unfortunate. Unfortunate. That goal is certainly going to be called no good. That's going to be no good. He's going to be reset. However, I believe the ball will be put back into his hands unless he's going to be given. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.